Yeah, you know, welcome back to or welcome to being Leopold the lifestyle. You know, it's your boy, the decent boy alive. Like, I know, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's your boy Leopold, Leo, Chef Lee today, as you can see. Yeah, me feeling kind of hot, so you know, you know. Anyway, yeah, so never uh, fully chef Leo out like it's a Saturday and boy I look good and boy uh, do things and you know so today in this video we're going to make food for our mukbang yeah so I know you you'll see the mukbang before you see this video you know but yeah this is just me you're going to chill with me you know cooking with Leopold or cooking with chef Lee you know I don't want you to feel like a, a proper proper like tutorial on how to do things and you know because me not top of top of chef like I'll teach you stuff but me not go at the same time we can bother to like oh make sure that you use this measurement make sure you use that measurement if you really want me to tell you how the measurements go use up my Instagram my Instagram right now it kinda dead so we need all the leopards out there yeah yeah guys for all the newcomers and make sure before you even go any further subscribe subscribe to the niceness to the realness to everything subscribe click the notification bell that I want thing you must do and share with your friends yeah also before I get into anything else I feel big up my big little sister yes <laughs> big little sister she's one year older than me and all of that bad girl Wally Wally D Danja the baby love I love you I'll, I'll you know we say in this thing together you know brother and sister we're moving forward congratulations to you love on your you know your 900 I'm coming right there right behind you you know guys we're at 527 and you know we need to reach that thousand you know plus a new month welcome to june guys you know and yeah i don't i know you guys have not seen the last video and uh go ahead and put it up there you know make sure you watch that because what to know waiting for like 2020 is literally a calamity <laughs> not no lie but yeah you know i'm just there chilling with you guys um doing my little thoughts and you know things like that all those people like on my whatsapp because whatsapp is more the most supportive of everything else and yeah and if you guys wondering what's my inter instagram handle it's being leopold right there instagram twitter snapchat is controller underscore leo yeah i'm gonna start using snap more you know but anyway let's get into the video so guys for or you know a little mukbang we're going to be doing this 
some wings. Alright guys, if you don't know, like wings is like my favorite thing. The oven I tell me, time to go in. But anyways, I was watching this man on YouTube. I'll put his link in the description box. Like, trust me, the man here, him know what him I do. <laughs> like, his wings recipes are, you know, them good and I see how him do with the oven and with the oil and all of that. So, you know, that's it. This actually look good, I'm going to try it. And plus, uh, although I love wings, I always wanted to master on how to make wings. So, better pray and hope say, this come up good. <laughs> nah, lie, me, I pray and hope say, this come up good. Because, if you don't come up good, it will still taste good, but you know. But anyway, just, we're, 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 I'm a Libra. Aesthetic is my thing, you know. I love the aesthetic, everything. I feel look good and, you know, so. Yeah, so there you go. Switch down to the left there and show no what I go on. Yeah, all right, guys. So, you're wondering what the mango is for because that's our it's going to be a part of our sauce for the wings today, you know. So, we're going to just um, catch this some. Yeah, we're going to move this over here so. Yeah, you see these three bottles in the background, these will be incorporated in our sauce. You know, like a pepper for the heat and you know, yeah. So guys, this is the wings. I already seasoned it from Monday, so you know, say well soaking, you know, a boil of a seasoning, you know. Oh, and guys, I know you're you're like seeing this. Let me show you. You know you're like seeing this and wondering, ew, why are you eating that? Um, it well for the, all my Americans out there. Yes, we don't use um, GMO chickens and you know factory based chicken and there's something there. We'll not have a fire in a poison, no? Pies, oh no? Yeah. So we we can actually eat these and this is kind of like my little favorite part of the wing. So that's why they're there. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna drench them, drench them in this. I already seasoned this with like garlic, garlic, black pepper, salt, a little bit of chicken, you know. And this is a mixture of flour and cornstarch. When I saw the man making his, you know, it had the, he did this basically. So we're gonna pat dry the, the to get the excess moisture so that it can be crispy, right? Because if you don't do that and the meat will come out somewhat, I guess, not crispy, <laughs> yeah. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna pat dry it, dip it and put it into this. And then we are the line this because Boy, lazy and boy, do I want to clean up? Have the extra work of cleaning up anything, you know? So, we're gonna do that. Line this after we drench it, and yeah, so let's go. Oh, and guys, if you're wondering if I take off the seasoning, no, because it already soaked to the bone, and yeah, me just like, get off all of the excess water, but you see, the seasoning still on it. All right, guys. Yeah, uh, you know, you know, filming with an iPhone, you know, it's it's kind of a trying time. Cause one minute it's a storage full, when the storage not actually full, and one bag of fat. So, plus my phone, they don't update anyway. So I just do know. I just went ahead, updated it, and yeah. So what I doing now? I wish I wish you guys could have can't see me but I want you guys to, to see what I'm doing you know so wash my hands make sure I wash my hand dry them properly you know sorry if I didn't hear the fan in the background it's kind of hot even though it's raining you know so yeah 
What we're gonna do now? Oh, hand them not even dry. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna get our little flower situation. All them nice things. Yeah. Hold on there. Let me just make sure everything mix up and combine. Oh, shit. Oops. Yeah. So now, yeah. So I, yeah, this saw me doing a couple seconds before. The pat dry the chicken. Make sure it's here crispy. You're not going to get all it fully dry, dry, but you know, just to get out the excess. So now you want one hand clean, one hand wet. So you drop it in. Just like I do this. Seem easy. You know? Here come on. Shake it up like a KFC. You know? Take it out. And the man did a trick like this, where him squeeze it, and it really gets you kind of you know, a little more. Yeah. But what he did, he squeezed it, so the flour really go in and you can crisp up every bit. You understand? Understand? So yeah, squeeze it now. Get, yeah. And I'm supposed to look like this. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do one more with me talking. You know, Chef Lee. I have to teach the people them. I mean, know all of the app girls that watch this. Big up on the self. Yeah, I like, I like neat boy them. Yeah. I like neat boy them. I like G them. When I really know nothing about the kitchen, you know, you can watch this and say, Rrr. It's your time now, you know, don't wait to fly past, because enough time, your time come here and fly past, you know. Go out there, you know, and make them see you too hype, make them see you bossy, because that is you. Rrr, and, you know, watch up the thing. Yeah. Make sure it's everything. You know, you get to have the excess, okay? You know, uh, you know, you know, your chicken. Um, I understand. So, I'm going to just go ahead and do this. So, okay, yeah, I think I'm the dollar. I'm the dollar. Alright guys, so yeah, a couple seconds before so me I drench the chicken. Final product. Yeah. Oh and one one tip that I you know I kinda observe. Oh guys sorry if you hear the fan in your heart. Yeah, if I never said it before I'm telling you now, I apologize. But yeah. The chicken, you know, because we seasoned it before. Oh let me tell you what I use and season it. I use garlic powder, look a bit of salt, black pepper, um, paprika, and chicken seasoning. Yeah. And then, you know, I've seasoned the flour with just a little bit more of those. Yeah. So, this is the final thing. So, because we're now drenched the chicken first in the flour. And uh, you know, I started to do the rest like some began to, you know, start to look like this in a way. So what I did before, when I finished everything, I just dump them back in the flour, shake them up, and you know, give them like a little second coat. You know, them vibes there. So what we're gonna do now. Yeah, I just see him like him just drench it, put it in the oven. I'm here wondering or thinking how I go and get like oil or you know fat but I guess the chicken have its own type of fat so it will cook itself but if I don't see that happening then what I go and do I go and like 
put some butter like probably in the pan or if not in the pan like coat them so this is going in the oven now yeah I'm going to move on to our sauce yeah so guys when I was watching the man do his, doing his thing he said that we should do the sauce like right before right before the <laughs> guys you know memory guasa but yeah you must do it like 20 minutes or 10 minutes before you actually get the of the wings out so the wings will be in there for like i guess 45 minutes or something like that so in that meantime i'll be prepping these like my garlic and my thyme you know jamaicans we use with thyme for flavor and yeah just cutting up the mango getting things ready for when that 20 minute comes along we just start we just throw everything into the pot get everything ready and all of that i'm thinking that i should blend the mango i'm thinking about that or you know yeah but i think i'm going to blend it here yeah. i think i'm going to blend it or pulse it So this is the mango. I know you guys, people look like singing. I don't know if any can hear it, but you see. But yeah, so introduce you know, to my little voice, you know. And the voice trainer out there, link me, we need one. You know the vibes. So, Jay-Z and Beyonce type, as that's what we aim for, you know. That's the goal, the boy from Jamaica trying to make it big. And we are gonna make it big. Cause this is our setting stone, you know? So guys, I just added some water in the bottom to like get out everything. Yeah, probably, I need more. It's so enough, mix it out. Yeah. So guys, yeah, I'm going to wash up, put these, put this to the side, you know, I don't know. put these to the side, pack up, and when 20 minutes come along, oh guys, make sure Sorry, I don't know if you could hear me a while ago. But make sure that when you're doing your wings, make sure that you check on them. I'm going to check on them now. Alright guys, so I just checked on them. I think I'm going to put like just some oil on it just to get it going, you know. Or probably not. I'll just leave it a little more and see. But I'll let you guys know if I actually did put oil on it or not. Yeah, so check my back. Let me guys, you couldn't believe so there's something never did I record. So I can't believe. So all of that to the universe. So anyway, um, so what happened? 
you know. I just I checked on the wings and everything. So I just added what I did. I just added like the garlic and the mango. Some of the honey, I added about a, a, a cup of honey, just like a tablespoon of this, like a teaspoon of this. Nice pepper, soy sauce, honey, you know. I added some water to it and I added like a teaspoon of garlic powder, pinch of salt, little bit of pepper, and I added the seasoning from the wings. Yeah, that's what I did. So, here yeah guys, so we just uh, mix it up. If you're wondering why is it so chunky, yeah, um, remember we didn't blend it till it was smooth. We only did it till it was, you know, just, we just pulsed it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put it on the stove and let it, you know, simmer or boil. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna strain it, then we're gonna, Put it on the stove, strain it, then put it back, let it simmer, and then finish up everything. All right, guys. So, it is coming live from the pot cam, you know, the stove cam. So, this is our sauce so far. Yes, I tasted it, and I ended up adding like a little bit more pepper, um, some more salt, because it, it was still sweet and not savory. You know, that's, that's the life of trying to balance sweet and savory at the same time. So I'm not sure what I'm doing this. Uh, Alright, yeah. So, I added a little bit more pepper. Um, some garlic powder, some paprika. Just some more salt, pepper, you know to get it to that savory vibe. Oh, and some more soy sauce. Just to get it to that savory vibe, you know? So, we have it here on the stove. We're just bubbling up. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys the chicken. See? See? We have that, um, what do you call it? That zinger vibe. Yeah, I'm going to take them out now because yeah, them look kinda starting to get darker than golden brown. So yeah, turn off the stove. Yeah. Now we're going to strain it, put it back, make it reduce. Yeah. And um, guess what guys, we have a little secret. We have a little secret for our mukbang. You know, and a lot of shout outs and all of that. Yeah. Things like it hot. Alright guys. So, back over to the countertop cam. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm gonna you know, give it a little stir. Down this spoon. Now we're gonna strain it. Got a smooth sauce, we say. Yeah, understand. Smooth sauce. Alright guys, so just wanted you guys to see my face. So anyways, uh, washed out the pot, you know, just to get out the, not to entirely wash it out, because we still want some of the juice, but we just 
washed out all the little particles that weren't strained, you know. So we're just going and see this strained sauce. So we're just going to add it back. Then I'm gonna make it reduce. So I'll explain what reducing is. Reducing is basically bringing it to a boil. Then you, you turn the stove real low. Like as it boil up, you just turn it down real low. And what that does is like it causes uh, it causes it to evaporate. So yeah. So it causes it to evaporate, right? Evaporate all the water that is in there. So I just put it on the stove, but you know, fil filming with an iPhone, you know, storage I got done. So I had to rush upstairs, um, plug in, switch off all the, um, convert all of the videos and, you know, so I just have come back. Tastes awesome. Oh, it's a bubbles. So it's spicy. But it's a bubbles. So it's a bubbles. What is it? So it's a bubbles. Yeah, so I'll just, you know, basically. You boil, do the sauce boil up, put it down, turn the stove really, really low. Or if you're using gas stove, you turn on the flame, boil low. Yeah. So, now check your back. And now I'm going to toss the wings in the sauce and close out. Yeah. Alright, guys. So, here are the wings. Yeah. This is because. Yeah, but being back and forth, last track of time. Yeah, it's supposed to be golden, not golden brown. Well, yeah, you get the idea. No, it's supposed to be. So, guys, but them crispy dough and the meat are uh, juka fork in it, and the meat inside is tender and nice. So you're gonna get some crunchy wings today, you know. Just yeah. All right. See the oil, guys. See the oil. What I added, yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So. If you remember where it was before, this is where it is now. I'll put it down. Yeah, so it has been reduced. As you can see, it formed like a coating on the top because of it being all evaporated and all of that. You know. So what you're gonna do now is we're going to pour it on the wings. Yeah, and 
that is the wings. The wings, man, the wings. All right. All right, guys, so it has been a, you know, somewhat of a good day. Yeah. Although the wings didn't come out as how I wanted it to, I should have taken heed of it and took it out like about 10 minutes earlier. You know, probably just I should have taken it out earlier. But I'm still good. And I'm going to eat these now. I'm going to save them for the mukbang. You know, but you guys, I hope you guys watched it before. If you didn't, you like, I don't know what you're doing, I sure know that you need to stop what you're doing and go watch the mukbang or just wait till it's done because I like we done it already anyway. So, you know, please remember Leopards and potential Leopards. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and yeah, oh yeah and guys of, as of this like i finally get myself into the groove and into that headspace to give you guys that um consistency that you guys need from me yeah um trying i'm here baffling about how and what to do and how to get everything all right and in order and i feel, really feel like i've been lagging and yeah it really shows so guys thank you so much for who made it to the end and yeah make sure that you watch my latest video the mukbang and the 2020 water calamity you know all that just a little chill session with me you know yeah and so there wings are uh, wings me please yeah yeah guys i love you guys so much thank you for watching and yeah tune in next time yeah no love all them something there like, comment, share, subscribe. Done. Do all of that. Leopold, Leopard, Leopard Nation. Give up on yourself every time. Share this with a friend. Show support. Comment down below what you think. Um, yeah. Blow on positive vibes and everything around you. So, if you're not there, if you're not there, so. Now go on with nothing. Because I guess, I guess the other topics there and all them something. So, we yeah, wait for Go watch our next video, man. See, go by yourself. Ooh, yeah, go watch our video there. Enough love.